On June 2, 1823, Arikara warriors attacked Trapper's working for Ashley's Rocky Mountain Fur Company on the banks of the Missouri River, what is now South Dakota, beginning the Arikara War. Though the Arikara are never noted for their friendliness to white settlers, all hell broke loose when a trading company employee killed a chief's son. Furious with this event and losing control of their lands, the Arikara attacked a trapping expedition of the Rocky Mountain Fur Company, resulting in about a dozen of the traders' deaths. The survivors of the Fur Company retreated downriver, where they waited more than a month for reinforcements. The U.S. Army sent some 230 soldiers, 750 Sioux, and 50 trappers under U.S. Army Colonel Henry Leavenworth to take vengeance on the Arikara. They attacked on August 9, 1823. Fifty of the Arakara were killed. Six days later, the military forces burned an Arakara village, where they later built an American post as a message to other unfriendly Indians, including the Crow and the Blackfoot. This was the first Indian war west of the Missouri, fought by the U.S. Army, and its only conflict ever with the Arakara.